Hello, hi. I'm Patricia McNeely. I am a Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois, and I am a Rod and Staff Union. How are you today? How are you today? How are you doing? So today, I have a few things to talk to you about. The first thing I want to talk about is a lot of people say, what is a Rod and Staff Union anyway? So I have a couple of examples here to begin to help you know what is it, what, what is that all about, what does it mean? It's not intended to be a mystery, although we've been around for a really long time, particularly here. Um, so let me give you one example. Do you see this package? Do you see this symbol here? Do you see this symbol? up? Oops, let me get it in the camera. Do you see that symbol really close? Oops. Let me let it focus here. Oops. Sorry. Okay, do you see that symbol? It looks like a staff with two wings at the top with some snakes twined around it. Let me hold that up again. Oops. Let me get that in. There you go. Do you see it? Okay, so... Sorry, that's that's my new camera. It focuses and refocuses. It has motion detection. So that's one example. The rod with the wings with the twined energies. Those twined energies are masculine and feminine. Let me give you another example. Do you see this? Hey, do you see that uh, piece of sheet music? These are the staves and this is the rod. You have the bass and you have the treble. And this happens to be a, uh, it happens to be very popular from the 40s. Okay, this is in the mood, but... Everything is showing you where it is on the octaves. So Rod and Staff people, we have a connection to every level, every octave. That's who we are. So just imagine that if you had a connection all the way back to where you're originally from, what good could be done with your union? Now, that's not to diminish anybody else. That's to say everyone has their jobs here. Everyone has something you're bringing, you're bringing to the table. You're bringing it. You're bringing it. You're bringing it. You're bring, and you're bringing it. What are you bringing? That's what people frequently will call mission. Okay? Your mission only gets accomplished when you have twined your energies with your twin. Now, some of the good news is, is some of that started a ways back. Now you're at a point where it's up to you. And it is most definitely an inside job. And just to clarify, people are getting confused with the word twin flame out there. I want to clarify what that is. The flame part, the flame is your etheric body. It's packed within each other. If you resist, resistance is futile because that flame is still burning inside you. And even if you're focused or zoned down the wrong person, it's in there. That gets confusing for people. They can't determine which end is up, what's up, what's down, what, you know, is it real, isn't it real, are you imagining this? No, you're not imagining it. You're not, you're not crazy. However, being able to feel it and really know is going to be a bit of a challenge in these energies. And we're in a retrograde. We have two other retrogrades this month of April. And these are going to be very telling, very revealing. So what I want to ask you is, and this is for a lot of ladies out there. Do you need a man? No, you don't need a man. You need a hero. You need your masculine. The divine masculine is you. It's not just men. 
okay? It's not just men. In fact, a lot of the men are tired. And that's not to make an excuse, it's just a fact. The masculine side is sometimes very exhausted. Not just men, though. The masculine is toying through you both. How do you deepen that? So every time you fought, even if you're a female, that's your masculine side. Every time you've gotten cranky with someone, that is way at the extreme of the electric masculine. Time to bring it to the center. Every time that you've had a cramp, a menstrual cramp, that is your masculine clearing out the past. Now, it starts in certain places, and this will include mental emotional disturbances. It will include emotional attachments. It will, and you could say, who's attached to your union? Who's trying to stay attached to your union? Who are you trying to keep attached to your union? Who are you allowing to hang on to? Who are you not needing to hang on to either of you. And it's not just the other woman. That's a lot of misconception out there that people are digging their claws into someone's man. Because a lot of times the double standard there is people will go out and go glom onto someone else's man who they know darn well in their heart is not their man. And it's about knowing. What do you know? Do you know the truth? Do you know that that's not your person? Do you, are you starting to feel it? Suspect it. Okay. It sometimes starts from there. Okay. And mental doubts will come when you are releasing mental emotionally from the collective. It's just a given. It's happening. It will make people doubt. It will shake things up. You're also clearing the things you've seen. You're clearing the things that you've done. And the mental emotional will bring about healing and it will bring up the levels that are the base for the psyche to heal. Now, here's where we get into the deeper stuff. When one gets to the parents, a bottomless pit opens. Okay, that's a quote from a book. But what it means, what does it mean? It means... The sins of the parents, the things that have done, sometimes that's been you in other lives. You've reincarnated and reincarnated and reincarnated into karmic cycles here, not just on this planet. So a lot of you are leaving the arms of your cosmic soulmates. You're kissing them goodbye. You're saying goodbye. Sometimes it's bitter. Sometimes it's a sweet thing. Sometimes you can't tell what's what. Sometimes you can't tell who is who, and it's okay because it will get sorted out. So one of the ways that I was getting signals, I always get signals through music. I was hearing music that was from war times. One of the songs was from the First World War. It was called Till We Meet Again. And the other one was Let Me Call You Sweetheart, which was actually more of a World War II era song, just like In the Mood was, you know, right around that time. Or the Boogie Woogie Boogie Boy Company B. Okay, everyone try to good, put a good spin on wartime. War is good. War is good for the economy. War is good. It's actually not. It's left a lot of displaced people. It's caused damage to the land. It puts financial markets in a turmoil. Yes, there are speculators that make money. And yes, there are still people that want to um, make. Okay, there's, there's money made when empires collapse, and there's money made when empires are built up. You're in the process of building up your own sovereignty, your own queendom, your own kingdom. And again, I ask you, do you need a man? You need your masculine to do that. You need a hero. So the old song, the oldest song I heard, kind of goes, smile a while and kiss me, said adieu. When the clouds roll by, I'll think of you. 
So say your prayers and pray for me. Down in Lover's Lane, my dearie, Wedding bells will ring so merrily, Every tear will bring a memory. And that was the signal to me. The tears you're crying are the memories that you're releasing of all those times, okay? All those times that you've had to say goodbye, that your person went off to war, or you were decimated by the things that have happened, the large-scale events. Were you killed? Were you murdered? What was it that happened? And there can't be any blame or shame or judgment anymore. There has to be only departure from those times. There has to be a clearing. And yes, you need a hero. Okay? So the other song from the 40s kind of goes like this. Let me call you sweetheart, I'm in love with you. Let me hear you whisper that you love me too. Keep the love light burning in your eyes so true. Let me call you sweetheart. I'm in love with you. Okay, the other signal, get yourself clear. Get yourself clear of like, who's really there? Who are you looking at? Who is it? The area state you clear, if you're clearing out the gut, if you're clearing out other areas, how do you do this and how do you get yourself clear? Because it's one thing to hear things telepathically and, and say, well, I just heard this and... I think somebody's sorry. I think somehow there's no judgment. I've wanted to hear that sorry. I am so angry. I am so angry. We're not going to accomplish anything with fighting and being angry. So even the anger has to go. How do you do that? That is what I teach. That is what I teach. So I had another song. I had to uh, get the lyrics for it. This was writ written by Jim Steinman and Dean Pitchford in 1984. So we're up to the 80s. Another 80s song for inspiration. This is uh, popularized and sung by Bonnie Tyler. Now, some of you know this song. It's called, the, it's called Holding Out for a Hero. Where have all the good men gone and where are all the gods? Where's the streetwide Hercules to fight the rising odds? Isn't there a white knight upon a fiery steed? Hey, didn't someone pull that card? The knight? The knight card? Oh, yeah, the knight of swords. Late at night I toss and turn and I dream of what I need. I need a hero. I'm holding out for a hero till the end of the night. And he's got to be strong and he's got to be fast and he's got to be fresh from the fight. Okay, now I'm going to jump here. I encourage you to look at the song and let it inspire you. Somewhere after midnight in my wildest fantasy. Somewhere just beyond my reach. There's someone reaching back for me. Racing on the thunder and rising with the heat. It's going to take a Superman to sweep me off my feet. I need a hero. I'm holding out for a hero till the end of the night. And he's got to be strong and he's got to be fresh and he's got to be fresh from the fight. Okay, now we're going to jump here. Out where the lightning splits the sea. I could swear there is someone somewhere watching me. 
Through the wind and the chill and the rain and the storm and the flood. I can feel his approach like a fire in my blood. Like a fire in the blood, like a fire in the blood, like a fire in the blood, like a fire in the blood. Blood. You need a hero, okay? That hero here connects here. Time to get your light body going, okay? So you don't just need a man. Of course you want your man if your twin is a man. Some of you, testosterone is like your kryptonite. Is it a man? Is it that man? Is it a different man? Okay. Is it someone that you've seen and maybe your heart tells you something, but you look at that person and you say, I don't even know where to begin. Sometimes it's like that. Why? Because of the things you've seen, the things you've done. You're the same being. Whatever has happened, it still needs to clear. That's the part that you start from. You start from the body. That is what I teach. So come and join me for my next class. It is called the Divine Masculine Transition. It's in four parts. It's interior, intended to carry you through May. Um, part one starts the 15th at 10 a.m. Now, 10 a.m. translates into the evening in Australia. Later evening, much later evening, usually 10 at night. 10 a.m. translates in the UK and in Europe to either 2 or 3 in the afternoon. It translates in the Middle East till about 4 or 5 in the afternoon. Or if you can't make that one, the 18th at 8 a.m. Um, I'm pretty sure that in um, Melbourne, Australia, that is in the later evening, you know, probably 6 to 8 o'clock in Australia, depending on the time zone. And then I have the three other parts. Now, this is four-part class, one price. It is $80. That's about $20 per segment. I think that's pretty reasonable to learn about your body and to learn about the masculine, what it is, what's going, and what's happening. Now, you can be as anonymous as you want in that class. I allow participation. I encourage participation. But don't feel that you have to. In fact, sometimes in the evening, uh, the evening ones, people put on their pajamas, and what we do is I have a presentation. I open up the floor for some questions, and then you feel. You feel what you need to feel. I am guided in those moments for activations and light codes to reach you. And sometimes it continues on in the next couple days. The whole key here is matching the flames up into one flame, okay? Putting the flame, and that has always been my focus, which is why... My website is called Twin Flames Merge. It's to get people to merge with each other. Okay, you didn't come here to lose. You didn't come here to wonder and feel all scattered. And your twin needs you. Okay, you need each other. You are each other's heroes, whether you call it heroine and hero, whether you're two men, two women, a man and a woman. It doesn't matter what your gender bodies are. What matters is what's packed in the side, inside. That's where the perfection is. If someone is showing you their flaws, if someone is showing you their behaviors, I guarantee you that person has been wounded. That person has been hurt. That person that you see has been traumatized or abused. They're back in this life and they're doing a learned behavior. How do you remove it? How do you clean up the past? How do you do that? Well, that is what I teach. Clearing the past, being new, being new. Because what's better than forgiving and forgetting? Being completely done with it. So I look forward to seeing you some of, some of you there. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you to everyone who has joined and participated. I know that you will get a lot out of it. I pack a lot of information, sometimes so much, it actually does take the next two or three days for it to be absorbed and integrated. 
a lot of you are believing that you have to do this by being together with your twin. And in fact, that's sometimes something that you may have been very wise about that during the separation, you can still do this. In fact, people that are together, they're finding it a bit challenging. Not everyone, but some people find it more of a challenge to do things. Some people have found their footing with it, and they do things. There's plenty of twin flame couples who, you know, they don't even watch videos. And I know this because there's people in my area I can sense it. I had a conversation for two hours with a couple that know. And they also can feel other couples in, around them. They can feel some of their friends. And they know the husband called some of them fakers. They're not, those other people aren't faking it. They're just soulmates. But he knew who they were. He knew that they were each other's true love. Whether or not he knew the words or not. A lot of you are looking for the words. Come and feel. Come and experience. Come and activate yourself. Work on your own activations. Light up your own divine masculine and feminine because that's where it's going to be. That is going to be what you need to get the clarity and the guidance. Are you starting a business? Are you embarking on what you feel is your mission? Okay, how are you going to get your clarity? It's not going to be all the time in the same way or in the same old ways. It's just not going to be. It's going to be in you and through you. So, I hope to see you there. I hope that uh, you keep your seatbelt fastened for this new moon energy. I hope that you come and learn because we will be focusing on several things. Um, if you're a little bit further in your journey, and, you know, for, I have most of my beginning stuff here on this website, TwinFlamesMerge.com, and for more advanced things, TwinFlameReconnection.com. So, I have connections to a very high level. I worked on it very hard. And for some of you, you're going to find that um, a little bit of work and learning will go a long way. There's a lot of ancient stuff from ancient Egypt, ancient India. It doesn't apply anymore because the body's been made, been made new. You might say, why has it been made new? Well, have you looked around and seen how people get manipulated or people get tricked or people um, seduce people? All of this stuff. You're going to gradually detach where some of this just seems like you're, it's kind of laughable. It's not laughable for a lot of people. You're, some of you are not at that point, okay? Some of you are seeing things and it's making you angry. Ooh, the illusion. Ooh, those matrixy things. And, you know, it's very vividly real for you. Come on up. Okay, come on up and find out. Start to get yourself in a level where you're getting away from that stuff. And I want you to have a wonderful week. I want you to feel the best you can be because... Your light body is how you keep healthy. Your light body is how you communicate with each other. There are a minimum of five subtle bodies that you're intended to reconnect with each other. And some of you haven't even started. Some of you have. And some of you know, and sometimes some of you don't know. That's no criticism. That's why I say batches of people. There's waves and there's batches. Everyone is here for being in love. And some of you are in a process that does take time. I remind you again, it's a process. Don't become so angry. It actually does require several levels that you're aligning. So thanks so much for watching and check it out. You can also email me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. And the links will be below if you want to join the class. And I do them on Zoom. I record. If you can't make one of these dates, you'll get the recording. So you will get all of the material if you can't make it. If, if you have something to do with your kids and you can't make either of these times, I get you the recording. So don't feel like you'll miss out or lose out. Also, one other thing to mention. I'm going to be in St. Louis in June live for a live class, live hands-on class 
in St. Louis, near the Cahokia Indian Mounds, and near the Arch Gateway. The Gateway to the West. St. Louis is great. For me, it's a short drive from Chicago. And um, we're going to do something there. So I will have more details on that. So thanks so much for watching. And if you like these updates, please subscribe. Because keeping yourself knowing from the inside, that's what I'm all about. I'm here to teach about the light body. I did tarot cards. And I can do tarot. But my forte is the body. Okay? When things go haywire with your body, when you feel like you're blowing a gasket, that is my forte. So reach out. Let me help you. Thank you again. Bye.